Hi, everybody. It's Mel. Don't read your sides off of your computer or your phone, especially for your self-tape auditions or your live virtual auditions. Why? Because we can tell. And what also happens is you tend to get really married to the sides that are on your device versus printing out your sides. I know a lot of times in the live audition room, when we were in person, you had to plan out your sides, right? Some actors tend to staple their sides. Some actors like to have their sides loose. Some actors like to retype their sides and omit, omit all of the crossed out areas that casting might've put in there because it doesn't involve your character. Whatever works for you, there's no right way, but I really wanna emphasize printing out your sides is key. Number one, it frees you up. Number two, you can hold your sides out of frame and have them there as a reference just in case you get lost. Number three, it just is going to make you feel much more confident when you have your sides in your hand versus you trying to like, oh, like with your eye line, figure out where your sides are. You know, I've seen some people do this. Some people are, are trying to scroll because they lost their place. It really takes you out of the story of your audition, right? So I really just wanna overemphasize here because I'm seeing a lot of actors do it in their self tapes. I'm seeing actors do it in the live Zoom audition room, which is what we're going to be doing. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have a hybrid casting situation here, everybody. So it's really important, especially in your audition prep work, that you build this habit, right? So I suggest that go ahead and download some sides from Showfax, which is part of Breakdown Services. A lot of Actors will say, hey, what's Showfax? Showfax uh, is a membership you can join for $69 for the year. And it, the good thing about that is it allows you to download up to 25 free sides a day. It's amazing. It's a great way to practice. So I suggest if you don't have a membership, grab a membership. If you have a membership, you know, go in and just look for sides. The cheaper the sides, the shorter they are, right? So challenge yourself a little bit. If you feel like, hey, you know, I, I would like to maybe get into more dialogue. I like to find a, a, a larger character, a guest star role. I'm gonna practice with this. Print those sides out, get off book as best as you can, and then hold them in your hand, set up your, your phone, and I would just tape yourself, right? Tape yourself, really connect with the other character in the scene, right? Connect with the reader that you could have virtually. Ask a friend like, hey, could you, could you hop on the computer and could you be my virtual reader? I'm really wanting to get comfortable using sides in my hand so I'm not married to them, right? I wanna free up my audition. I really wanna be able to live moment to moment. So you can have those sides, you're reading and connected with that reader. You know, the biggest thing for me is that you connect at the top of your scene and if you have to go to your sides to pick up a line, then you can just easily have them here, glance at your sides and come right back up. It doesn't take you out of the scene. What I wouldn't do is be on book or be reading your sides at the top of the scene and then come to the character, right? You can see what that looks like. We don't get to see how you feel about the other person at the top of the scene. And remember, we're watching a lot of self-tapes and we're in the virtual audition. We really wanna see you engaged with the other people because then we're engaged. Like, hey, oh wow, this person's really connected. Like, what a great relationship they have. They've, they've taken the time to, to do their homework and create a personalized relationship with the other character in the scene. So. Do yourself a favor, do us on the casting side a favor, please print out those sides, okay? Practice, practice, practice. Uh, you really wanna build that habit so that when you get an audition, you feel really confident, you know that you're able to get off book quickly, you know that you can have your sides there just in case you have to glance down. It really is a game changer for a lot of actors. One other thing I wanna mention that I don't want you to do, don't be reading your lines while the other character is talking, right? Because remember, as 
as the actor, <laughs> uh, as the actor, you know what you're gonna say next because your lines are on the page. In life, we don't know what the other person's gonna say. Therefore, we have to really be connected with that other person to hear them, to listen to them, to have an opinion about what they're saying. So you can do the same thing with the writer's words. You can actively be listening, you know, after they've finished saying what they're gonna say to you, you have an opinion about it, take that feeling, take that opinion to your sides, pick up your line and come right back so that you're still staying in character. Okay, I hope this tip was helpful. Please check out my video here every Tuesday. Go ahead and like and follow me and I will see you next Tuesday. Okay, bye.